Hey, Selvin. Good night. How are you, sir? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Are we able to see your beautiful face today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we gotta yeah. wait for the rest oh, right, okay. to join today's class. Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> I can see you're much better. Which yes, is really good, I, actually. Yes, I but to, today I bought the you bought new camera. You, yes. You bought a new camera. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So that's the reason why, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need a new camera. I need. You I need, need it. it. Okay. What is re, what the resolution you bought? Was it seven twenty? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no. No. Uh, the camera work, uh, all the camera are same. Uh -huh. The resolution, uh, you, configure, you configure it. You can configure it, uh-huh. Uh, in the computer. Yeah, that's true. Uh, try, uh, for example, look that. Huh. Okay, is that that is uh, not too clear, right? Yes, yes, similar to binoculares. So, okay, yes, to the view tweet, yep. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, and then what happened? Then you configure it. Okay, and now you, I can see you much better. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very good. Hey, but any chance, is it your, your daughter's? Um, Drawing? Yes. Uh, hey. This drawing is to Jose Manuel, my the son. Uh, my son. Yes. Okay. Um, and this one. Yeah. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. All right. Uh, oh, I love it. This one is Javier. Okay, Javier. All right. This is oh, my family. This is your family. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> your wife and your two, your three children. Three okay. children, and I have two, uh, a girl. A girl, a baby yes. girl, and two baby boys. Yes. That's amazing. It's very <laughs> good. I like it's very, it. It's very hard. <laughs> is it hard? How old yes. are they? How old are your boys, by the way? Okay, my name? my old boys mm -hmm. have uh, fifteen years. Oh, okay. And Daniel fourteen. Daniel fourteen. Okay. Yes. And Javier uh, have uh, twelve. Twelve. Oh, that's yes. the little one. And my girl. And the girl, have yeah. Four four years. Oh. oh my god, so that's a baby girl. Yes, a baby girl. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. So they're pretty young right now. I thought they were like uh older, but the oldest one is the one that has a 15 years old, right? This picture is oh my god, they're so handsome <clears throat> with <laughs> your permission, of course. <laughs> oh, that's great. And your little baby girl. Yes. Oh my God, that's wonderful. This, this picture, take, take, talk in December. You took it in December. Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing part of your life and your family. That's amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, I will share with you <laughs> my pets. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, you I don't, don't have, have two? No, I don't. Okay. Actually, I don't. I wish, but I couldn't. So, but I adopted a, a, a boy, so, or a, a dogs, right, and the cats. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so that yes. I treat them like a baby boys, basically <laughs> because they are my uh, my kids right now. Okay. I yeah. Understand. That's. I wish I could. Well, I raised my niece actually. She's right now 17 years old, and she lives in Costa Rica with her mom. So oh. basically, um, I'm also her second mom. <laughs> I can say that, yeah, I didn't give her birth, 
but I took care of her like if she was my child, my child basically. So, whew, and it's really hard to raise a, 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 baby, a baby girl. That's not easy. I know that for sure. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi. And we have Jorge. We do have Rosario. We do have Natty. We have Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. We do have Rachel. And we have Mauricio Lemus. Oh, my God. Now I can see your pretty face. Hi. How are you? Hey, guys. How's your day going so far? So far, is it good? Oh, yes, please. One at a time. One at a time. Don't complicate your life. Of course, one at a time. Yes, please. Hold your horses. Okay. Okay. How was your day going so far, Natty? Uh, actually, a little bit tired, teacher, because uh, of the traffic. I hate traffic. Whew. Me too. I'm just getting home right now. For real? Yes, for real. Whoa. Oh, and I'm so happy that even though you're tired, you were like running like Speedy Gonzalez, right? But um, yes. even though you make an extra effort to be in here in today's class, and I'm so happy about it. Yes, thank you too. so thank much. You. Yeah, <laughs> no, thank you because you're here. So you know what? All, all of us have a pretty tough day, right? <laughs> yeah, me too. You cannot imagine. <laughs> I've been working since 7 a.m. in the morning, I think. So it's pretty tough as well, yes. I do work for, um, besides classes, of course, I do work for facilities and uh, hospitals, the uh, US. I'm part of the collections department. And basically we deal with uh, claims regarding mental health and substance abuse services. So can you imagine? <laughs> it's pretty tough, right? There's a lot of information involved, yeah, so. I think I'm speaking English in 7 a.m. in the morning. I will continue back. To, <laughs> I'm going back to sleep and I will continue speaking English. That's right, right? <laughs> and this is your last uh, group teacher or do you have another? No, I have another one after you. Oh, okay. So I think I I wake up at 6, 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And then I think I will, I will go back to sleep if everything in the internet goes well around 11.30 p.m. or midnight. Yeah. You only sleep uh, like five hours? Like uh, six and a half, we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, six and a half. But I'm thank God that my husband always, most of the time, at least from Monday to Friday, he prefers the breakfast. Ah, okay. Because basically when I wake up, I I feel like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I don't have time to pre to prepare it most of the time. So, yeah, but you can can you imagine? That's that's tough, right? Yeah, that's tough. But I do have a lot of energy. Yeah, that's why I'm here with you, and I I'm so happy that I only have a, well, I have a lot of girls also. I have Rosario, I have Raquel, and I have <laughs> Mr. Mauricio oh. and Jimmy. What happened with Jorge? Where he went? Oh, no idea. Okay, he will come back later on. Okay, guys, let's start business. Do me a favor. Today, um, I'm going to ask you something because even though you already have passed that grammar level, but it's really important to practice grammar every time because we use it for our daily basis. So basically, um, let's do a recap before uh, we start uh, or continue our today's topic um, about the simple past. Why guys? I always ask that because um, Latin American people, <laughs> we are really special, right? <laughs> we start talking about the present, then we move back to the past and then we continue moving forward to the future, right? That's where we are. But in English, no. In English, you can do that, yes. But most of the time, when you start talking about a, a specific verb tense, you got to stay in the verb tense, okay? You cannot mix it up. In just in, in special situations, yes, you can. But right now, no. So it's really important to do a recap about the simple past, especially using the verbs, right? Which I know that you really love, right? Like me. <laughs> and look for his face like, oh, my God. <laughs> Jorge, we're going to talk about simple past. So do me a favor. Let me start with Jorge. Thank you so much for participating. You're always there for, for me, Jorge. All right. <laughs> Could you please be so kind to let me know what did you do today? 
um, today. Yes, I don't get into details, okay, went, just in general, yes. Uh, right now I'm really sad because I lost, I lost my headphone in the bus. Really? My Bluetooth headphone. Oh yes, my I, God. I hit the, 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 the headphone with my arm uh -huh. and, and it fell to the floor okay. and the, the bus driver told me that uh, if uh, if if he going to to find he is going to find the headphone maybe tomorrow I will get uh, I will ask to the the partners about the headphone. But, okay, but I, 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 don't use the future. right now. I just need past. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I know that's and okay. I went to my work. Uh -huh. I went. I went to my job and I worked uh, the the whole day long. Mm -hmm. And I ate. Uh, Pupuses? I don't know what ate. <laughs> Can no, you imagine you uh, didn't know what you ate? I don't know. I, I'm really tired right now. No matter if you're tired, you always remember what you eat. <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's it? <laughs> hey, did you finish? Yes, that's it. Okay, so, oh, very good. That's it. Excellent. Yes, Thank it you. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Raquel? What do you do? Well, today I woke up uh -huh. late. Yeah. Late? Uh, Around what yeah. time? 11 a.m. Oh my god, that's too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, today mm -hmm. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I woke up 11 a.m. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I did. Um, I did the, the mm -hmm. cleaning. What? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I was I was cleaning my house. Oh. Hey. Yeah, okay. I was cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you was cleaning up my... everything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Just I it. did. It. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you did all the regular activities that we can do at home, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, mm -hmm. okay, we know that we have to wash the dishes, right? Wash our clothes. Um, well, I, I, everything, I didn't. Iron it. Uh, wash the, the dishes. Okay, <laughs> at least you tell us the truth. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I was cleaning. Uh, That's good. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You point something really important that is because uh, I let you know, guys, that every class you're going to learn a new vocabulary, right? Just for you to increase. Uh, the knowledge that you already have. So when we like to like englobate or put all the activities that we normally do at home, like clean it, like wash it, like iron, etc. right? There's one word that we use and we call house shore horse. Mm, yeah. Shore horse, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, how old? Oh, exactly. So that is exactly what it means. Okay. When you are looking about a short horse or how shores, or you can say how shores as well, that how word how shores englobates all the activities that you do yes. regularly yes. to take care about yes. your house. Okay. Okay. So now, guys, now you know that. Very good. Excellent. Rosario, what about you? What did you do today? Um, I woke up at 5 a.m. Wow, that's then, good. Uh, 5 a.m. Then I take a shower. I you take a shower or you took a shower? Dress. Took. Very took good, excellent. Yes. Uh, then I I got to the my in my job. You went to your work? Yeah. Uh, I start I start uh, I start I start my shift or I start my work I, at. I start my work at 
7 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Oh my goodness, that, that, that's nice. Ayan, ayan. <laughs> 7 a.m. <laughs> All righty. No, ayan. Um, then I attend the client. I, I work in an in, in thing and mm -hmm. it's a clinic. Yes, for diabetics uh, uh, people, right? Oh. right? Yes, okay. Yes, I attend a lot of people, a lot okay. of people. A lot of clients or customers or patients. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, it, for me, uh, where is no? You can do it. You can do it. Down. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, of course, you can do it. Uh, se me you forgot. Se me what is exactly uh, the word are you trying to say? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. You forgot the word or you forgot uh, the activity? <laughs> the activity. Ah, okay. The Don't activity. worry, we'll come up later on. But, Maybe because but uh, I, think, I think a lot of people. Okay, okay. You helped. Yeah. You helped. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. And that's it? Yeah. Very good, excellent. Yeah. And last that's but it. no least, <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you, Selvin? Okay, Selvin, <laughs> now you move. What about you, sir? We cannot hear you because you have mute. You're on mute. Uh, only Very good, with thank my you. New camera. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I noticed that. So tell me, what did you do today? <laughs> well, tell us. I think he's listening. Or my. Yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I wake up at. You wake up or you woke up? 3 a.m. Um, I have my office in my house. So you, ha you, you have a, a home I office. Okay. Woke up. Okay, uh, very good. Because I. Yes, yes. No, because I. Uh, but. Always, I have my office in my house. Oh, okay. It's not because of the quarantine. Is that your office is always at your home? Okay. Yes, I, I, I yes, I, 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 I have a company. My company is uh, Scal Arquitecto. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I, Advertising guys. Yes. Is um, <laughs> is sign of when. Um, 20, oh, yes, 20, 20, 21, 20, oh, one, my, com my company has, oh, your company started, is uh -huh. sign, and yes, in sign it's... of 21, oh, two, okay, 2001, yes. okay, um, yes, yes, okay, yes, cool. um, what else did you do today? Uh, when the, my day start with today. Okay, mm -hmm. today uh, I went to the Millennium Plaza. Okay. And next I went to the Atami because Atami. the last year uh, I will yes will I will a house. You won. Uh, you won a house. The, a beach house. Oh my god. Hey guys, everybody's invited to Selvin's Beach House, you know? Just for future references. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um return so serious, to you know. San Salvador uh, uh 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. No, I return on San Salvador at 3 p 3 p.m. So you return it back to San Salvador. Return it back. Yes, um, take my lunch in this time. You took your lunch at 3 p.m. Um, okay. Yeah, I took my lunch, yes. Um, then uh, went to the Nehapa Power uh, to to check, check 
uh, a new car. Okay. But that's good. A new car. That what? That is yes, a new car. Uh, I bought the car on December. Oh, that's wonderful. And the last Saturday, mm -hmm. come came come to the Salvador. Came to El Salvador. Came to the Salvador. Came yes, or arrived. Yes. Came in the uh, uh -huh. the truck. You mean the container? The cuisine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's a special thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's um, right. Um, that's all. That's it. <laughs> that's all, folks. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing your activities today. I know that Maurizio and Jimmy is waiting, but we're going to help you participate. And don't worry about that. Guys, do you like that activity? We It's really hard, right? It's really hard. I know. But I will, I will make you do every single day the same, okay, at the beginning. Why? Because I want you guys to remember the use of the simple past. And don't mix it up the tenses and also practice practice your verb knowledge okay okay oh i know that and also do me a favor um try to i don't know if you still have that information the regular and the regular verb is not i will try to send it to you okay just for you to refresh a little bit um because it's really important guys that we practice that and if you if you in why i make you um practice that because guys Yesterday we saw about the two uh, word verbs, right? Or the phrasal verbs, right? And you know that the phrasal verbs are really common use in the regular English. It is really common use in present and also in, in the past. For example, uh, Selvin said that he went to Nehapa and he arrived to El Salvador at 3 p.m. That's what he said, right? So he yeah. said, I return it back, return it back, okay? Return back. That is a phrasal verb. You see? I woke up. That is a phrasal verb, right? I've arrived at. That's a phrasal verb. Okay, so you, you always use a phrasal verb no matter what. And it's really common. But when you use it or the way that you use it, it may change the meaning of the sentences or the meanings of what you're trying to explain. So that's why I make you start explaining what did you do today. Not only just to practice your uh simple past knowledge, but also to practice the phrasal verbs. So today, guys, we're going to <laughs> double check about the, hey, I gave you a homework, right? Mm, yeah, Jorge, go ahead, you raise your hand. I have a question. Uh, phrasal verbs is only for present and past. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, got it. No, talking about future. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Today, guys, we're going to get deeply into that. Okay. Because yesterday, remember that we just practiced <laughs> the dialogue, which I think that you remember by heart, right? Yeah. Because I asked you to memorize it. Did you do it? Why everybody's quiet? <laughs> no idea why. I think because you didn't do it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's quiet for the first time this second day. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna practice again. Is everybody um uh, right now on the WhatsApp? Yes. Orjito, I asked you to enroll it. What happened with you? You forgot. I don't have the the link. You do. To join me. You do. Hey, do you remember that um, that somebody, I don't know, when you enrolled? I only have the Inglés Corporativo profile. No, no, no. I mean, um, what, did you receive an email before you get you start the classes? Did you? No. No. Oh. Just only WhatsApp from Inglés Corporativo profile. Oh, all right. So I, I got you. Okay, let me send it to you right now. No, okay. I'm, I'm going to put it right now here. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me, uh, 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 uh. let me check here really quickly. 
and I will put it in the chat, okay, for everybody to have it. Let me check. All righty. There you go. Okay. I have it here. Okay. Let me put it here in the chat. There you go. Okay, let me put it in the chat here. Okay, there you go. Can you see it, Jorge? Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, so when you click on that, you will be able to join today's class and, uh, and, and receive all the information that I will send it to you, okay? Daily, as a homework and of course, as, as a practice. Okay, guys, so without further uh, <coughs> interruptions, let's let the party start, okay? There you go. Okay, guys, do you remember that yesterday we practiced, right? Like, <laughs> Selby was a really good dad. Also, Natty was a really good mama, and also Rosario. And I think James, yeah, Jorge and um, Mauricio, yes, they were a really, really, really good sons, and also Rachel, a really good daughter. Okay, so now, do you remember, guys, that yesterday we saw uh, two words, right? Which one do you remember that we saw? Do you remember them? Which ones? Clean up and Clean up? pick up. Hey, very good, Mauricio. Clean up and pick up. All righty. Very good. Excellent. Pick and up. Clean and up. Okay. Now, guys, we're going to introduce you to this beautiful world of phrase of verbs that will help you to say uh, a lot of information in one simple way, okay? That's what we use the phrasal verbs. They're not complicated. They will help you. It's like algebra, right? We have arithmetic and algebra. Arithmetic is a pain and algebra is a simplification, right? Of everything. So basically the two word verbs are like that, okay? They're going to simplify our life and they are really common in every daily basis, okay? Uh -uh. So I'm going to ask you something, but I forgot. Ah, yes. Uh, before uh, we continue with that, Guys, let me give you an advice. When you would like to try to explain yourself, like the sample that we did today, right now, don't complicate your life. Never. Just try to use the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay? When you would like to explain your things, try to make it simple. Okay? When you will uh, continue learning English, of course, your vocabulary will be increasing. And you will be able to say the same things in a different way. But right now, don't complicate it. Just, just try to think like, how can I say this? No, no way. Just use the vocabulary that you know. And that's it. Okay? That will be my advice to you. Do never complicate your life. Maybe Nadi will, will know more vocabulary than Rachel. Maybe. Maybe yes. Maybe not. She could say some things in one way and Rachel could say some things another way. And they're pretending exactly the same information. But your vocabulary is different and vice versa. And that's okay. It's part of the process, right? So that's that's my that's my advice to you, okay? Try to make it simple. Okay. So let's continue. Let me open up right now the screen. Woohoo. There you go. All right. There you go. Let me check. Yes, I want to share it right now, my screen with you. And I want to know, guys, if you're able to see it. Just let me know, please. If not, I will try to make it bigger. Are you able to see it right now, but any chance? Yes or no? Hello? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, you scare me. Okay, everybody's able to see my screen? Yes or no? I can see the screen, teacher, but I cannot read uh, the Who's phrase. It? Who said I... that? Nati. Nati, okay, let me double check, Nati, if I can make it bigger. All right, let me check. What about now? Is it much better? Yes, it's better. Okay, okay cool. All right, guys, we are going to get into deeply two part verbs or phrasal verbs, as the common way says. And uh, we're going to explain it really quickly because this is really easy peasy queasy. Guys, the first of verse. How can we construct it? The first verb have two parts. The verb itself. And the second part, it calls particle. 
okay? Or a piece of information or a piece of word. So like an example here, what is the verb here? Put. Put. What is the article? Off. off, okay? Put off. Put is the verb and off is the article. When we combine the two things, it could uh, change the meaning. For example, guys, does the meaning put, what does it mean? To place, right? Put something on the table, right? Put your hands, put your back, etc. But when we combine put with of, it means something else. You see, put off means postpone, okay? Do you get that? Yes? Yes, I okay. got it. Yes. You got it? Any questions right now? No. no. No? Okay, so you see guys, only just the verb itself, it could mean something. But if we combine the verb with the article to create a two-part verb, that meaning, changes completely okay there you go so give me a favor who can give me an example with put off that means postpone any anybody any volunteer thank you mauricio go ahead no is everybody scared um, um, an example. Uh, an example, yes. An I, example we put off. I put off the practice uh, tomorrow. Very good. That means that you postpone the practice for tomorrow. Excellent job, sir. Very good. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue with this. But let me double check right now. Anybody else? Another example, please? Me. Okay, go ahead. I put off my class. You put off your class, but not yes. your English class, right? English class. No. No way. I will no. kill you, Mauricio. No way. No. Hey, Selvin. <laughs> Was it not Selvin, yet. right? Uh huh. <laughs> no yet. Okay. Very good. Good example. Excellent. All right. Let's move on. Guys, in this particular, I want you guys to pay attention on what I'm going to explain it to you right now because I want you to use it not only a speaking way, but also in the writing way correctly. So this is really, really important. And I want you guys 100% focus on this because it's easy, but it's really important that you, that you pay attention to that. Okay, guys, we can use the two word verbs with two things. We can use the two word verbs with nouns, and also we can use the two word words with pronouns. However, is the object is a noun, it could say uh, house, car, a, um, animal, whatever, is usually possible to put this before the particle or after it. That means guys, if you use a noun, you can put after the two word verb or you can put it in the middle of the two parts of the verb. Let me give you an example. Take a look at the first sentence. Who can read it for me? Thank you so much, Nati. Can you please read it for me, the first sentence? Okay. The noise woke the giant up. Okay. The noise woke the giant up. Very good. Okay. Here, guys, in this sentence, where is the two word verb? Where is it? What is one part of the two word verb here? Walk. Nothing? Walk. And what is the other part? Up. Up. Very good. Okay, so you see, guys, in this sentence, the phrasal verb is split up, right? It is not together. It's split up. One part is first and the other part is at the end. And do, did you notice what we have in the middle? Here? Nouns. A noun. And this call is the word the giant, right? A big guy. Okay. So tell me something. The giant, is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it an adverb? What is it? Adjective. Are you sure? No. Oh my God, I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Who can help Mr. Maurizio? Jimmy 
Jorge, Nati, Rosario, Rachel? No? Volunteer? Please, please, one at a time. I know that you love to participate, but don't fight. I don't know, teacher, maybe the subject, the giant. Yes, exactly, giant is a subject, but in this case, this one, it is a noun, you see? A noun. Because we're talking about verbs with nouns. So in this case, guys, the noun, you see, this example is in the middle in the middle of the first part of the verb and the last part. In this case, it is in the middle of the verb and the, what is the other word of the phrasal verb? Particle, uh, particle, okay? Chef, Remember, go ahead, Sylvan. Uh, which is more normal? Uh, wake up the gen, the gen, or wake the gen up? Ah, you can vote, you can use both. And both of them are the same. Both. Both are the same and are correct. Uh, but um, in the United States, what is more, uh, is the more use? Okay, in the most use, it will be the first one. Okay. But you can use it, both of them, and both of them are correct. But most of the time okay. it is used in the middle, with nouns, of course. Okay, so can you see guys, this is the first example. If you're using a noun, you can put it in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verb, the verb and the particle. Let me ask you, is this for example, is it clear for you guys? Or no? Yes, Rosario? yes it is. Yes? yes? Okay, cool. Take a look at the Very second clear. example. Very good. Clear like water or like horchata? <laughs> like water. Like, like water. The, okay. <laughs> like the orchata. Oh, come on. So I need to recap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, now take a look at the second sentence. Uh, Rosario, could you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence? The noise woke up the GM. Very good. Guys, here in this sentence, where is the phrasal verb? Woke up. Woke up. Okay. Woke up. Okay, what it makes different uh, this second sentence with the first one? What happened with the phrasal verb? Are they separate or they're together? They the are phrasal verb are together. Okay, it is together, right? We got the verb and we got the particle. Is that correct? All right. And guys, in this second sentence, where is the noun? In the end. The giant, very good. So let me ask you, in this second sentence, the now is uh, in the middle or at the end of the sentence? At the end of the sentence. Exactly. So guys, if you are going to use a phrase or verb and you're going to use it with a noun, a dog, a cat, a house, a car, whatever, you, can, you have two possibilities or correct ways to use it. You can put it in the mid the noun in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verb or you can put it at the end of the sentence okay is it clear yes it's clear. like water like horchata yes huh? it is like water <laughs> like water uh-huh uh -huh. i laughing yes so uh, can you give me a, a example with the nouns of Maria or, or Jose Maria. or... Okay. Or a name. Ah, okay. You can say the same thing, Sylvan. The noise woke Maria up. Yeah. The noise woke up Maria. Okay. okay. Hmm? Yes. All that you got to do is... Think. Fall it doesn't change yes all that you gotta do is follow the rules doesn't that's change. it mm -hmm. yes. very good excellent okay. now you will you will need to start thinking about an example guys because i'm gonna ask you okay <laughs> thanks to selby i'm just kidding <laughs> all righty very good let's continue guys now mm -mm -mm, let me go back Woo. there you go okay okay now take a look at this one guys we already have seen with nouns. Now, guys, take a look. As we're going to use it with pronouns. A, 
Can you please, can you remind me which are the pronouns that we use in English, guys? Do you remember them? Do you remember them? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember. Oh, come on. No. I, I think she, he. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You have subject pronouns. You have, okay. Personal yes. pronouns, right? Etc. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. he, Him, is. her, it, yeah. yours, there, right, etc. Okay. I will send you that information yeah. as well. Okay, guys. Just for you to recap. Okay, guys. Take a look at this. This is the one that we saw in the dialogue. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, of course, right? Okay. What is the phrasal verb here? Uh-huh. Pick up. Pick up. Him. Pick up, right? Pick up is the phrasal verb, okay? But guys, take okay. a look. Him, is it a noun or is it a pronoun? Pronoun. Pronoun. It's a pronoun. Pronoun. Okay. So guys, we can do something. Pick him up. We cannot say pick up him. Pick him up. If you use, guys, a pronoun, when you are using the two word verbs, you can only do something. You can only, only, and only put it between the two parts of the phrasal verb, okay? That only, is a rule. Only, only with only, pronouns. Only, if you're using pronouns, only in the middle, never at the end. You cannot say pick up him. You sure? No. Yes, sir. A hundred percent sure. You cannot say pick up him, pick him up. He keeps putting off. Call her back. Okay. So you can no oh, do that. Call her back. Call her back. Never call back her. Never. You will scare me if you do that. So you see, guys, we got another one, another phrase of her. Putting off. We got it. You okay. see? We got it here. It. That is it. Is it a pronoun? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. We yes. got call and back. We have heard. Is it a pronoun? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So always remember, if you're using a pronoun, always in the middle of the two part of the phrasal verbs. If you're using a noun, it could be in the middle or it could be at the end. That's the rules, guys. As simple as that. Can I have an example, please, uh, Jorge? You can use pick up, you can use put off, or you can use call back. That's okay for me. You can use the same phrasal verbs. I called you back last night. Okay, very you. I called I called you back last night. Okay, very good. Very good. Any other example, uh, Rachel? No? Please. Rachel is scary. <laughs> oh, that's good music. No? Mm. I will pick up. I will. She. I Can will you say pick. that? Can you? I will pick up she. Can you say that? Yeah. Are you sure? Is it a she? Is a noun or is a pronoun, guys? It's a pronoun. I will pick up her. I will pick up her, or I will pick yeah. her up. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. I will pick it up exactly. <laughs> yes. Remember, hair. It is a pronoun. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you always gotta do that. Okay, guys. Uh, uh let me send you this right now, because I want you guys to have it. Um, before we move on, because we're going to do more writing practices. Okay. This is really important. That get used to it. It's not complicated but you need to get used to it. 
So I'm going to send you something right now in the WhatsApp. Just let me know if you receive it, okay? Okay. okay. All righty, very good. Let me check really quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. <laughs> All right, I love that song, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is it, but I like it. All right, and everybody's like, Dad. Okay, guys, I sent it to you because that is exactly what we have seen right now. We um, pick up the toys, remember? That the dad said pick up the toys. Yeah. So I sent it the pick up in three ways. Pick up the toys, the toys. Is it a noun or is it a pronoun? A noun. A noun. noun. So you can say pick up the toys, pick the toys up, or pick them up. You see? But the third way. Pick them, pick yes. them up. Yes, the third way, them, is a pronoun. So you got to yes. put it in the middle. Okay? There's a second example. Turn off the light. Remember? Turn the light off. Turn it off. Okay? So Turn. there's... A, it off. Oh. The two the two first example for each uh, sentence are using nouns. And the third example for each sentence is a pronoun. So now, guys, I want you to do me a favor. Today, we're going to emphasize in two things, in grammar, but at the same time, we're going to emphasize the pronunciation. Because every uh, phrase of verb has a stress pronunciation, okay? You can have said, turn it on. <laughs> no way. You got to pronounce it in a correct way. So everybody has already the information that I sent it to you, right? Do you have it? Yep. Okay. So guys, what I want to do right now, we're going to practice the, the pronunciation of it. So I want you guys to pay quietly attention. Okay. Quietly attention to that. And then we are going to recap and I'm, and I'm going to ask you to repeat it to me with the correct way to pronounce it, okay? Take a look at- how Pronounce the phrase of verse, how they pronounce the pronoun, and how the noun is pronounced, okay? Very good, so let me just a couple of minutes. Woo -hoo. there you go. And let me know, guys, if you're able to listen. Page 37. Can you listen? Yes, yes or no? This is yes. yes. Exercise four. Okay, cool. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Let it one more time. Yes, yes please. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. One more time. The last time. Page 37, exercise 4. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Very good. Okay, guys, we're practicing also the listening part, right? We're processing three okay. skills right now at the same time. Okay, have you noticed how you pronounce it? Do me a favor. Which is the stronger spout? when you pronounce it, which is a stronger spot? No, no kidding? Let me show you something. Let me show right now my screen. Which is the, the part that we pronunciated with a loud voice? Do we say, put the toys up? Or you can say, put the toys up. The first one. The put first the toys one. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to write it right now on the chat. One of the says is peak. The toys up, right? The toys up. Pick the toys up. This is the first one, right? Pick the toys up. The toys okay, up. guys, which are the, the, the part of the phrase of birth? Pick and up, right? The toys are the nouns in the middle. So do me a favor. In that particular sentence, 
which part of the sentence is pronounced with a loud voice? The noun or the phrasal verb? The noun. Are you sure? The phrasal verb. The phrasal verb, correct. Exactly. Put the toys up. Pick the toys up, okay? Okay, do me a favor. Let me do it the second example. Okay. Pick up the toys. What about this one? Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. You said pick, pick up oh. the toys? Or you can, what can, how can you say it? Pick up the toys. Pick, pick up, up the, the toys, toys. exactly. You pronounce it, the phrase of verb in the stronger way. The stress part of the pronunciation is the phrase of verb. What about this one? Pick the map. Okay. What about this one, the last one? Pick the map. Pick them up. Pick you said, them you said pick, pick them up or pick the map or pick the map. How you say it? Pick the, the Pick the map. Very good, Rosario. Okay, you see the third part, the third example is when you're using a pronoun, right? Damn, that substitutes the toys, right? But the phrase of verb is separate. We got pick the verb, we got the particle up. So when you pronounce it, you said pick the map. Okay, so let's practice the pronunciation, guys. Repeat after me pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Pick them up. Very good. Nati, can you please say the three things? I'm sorry? Yes, I want you to practice right now. Say the three examples for us. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Very good. Excellent. Rosario, go ahead. Pick up the toys. Pick the toys up. Very good. The last one? Yeah. Sort of the love, like. No, 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 the same, the same, the same example. Pick up the toys, pick up the toys, and then pick oh, them up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick up the toys, pick the toy, uh, toy up, pick the gun. Pick, pick the up. 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 Pick the up. Very good, excellent. All right, Selvin, it's your turn, guy. Go ahead. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Pick them or pick them up. Pick them up. Very good. Remember that is we guys, this is really important. We have two words here. We have them and then, right? Them is a pronoun. Yeah. And then is an adverb of time that you're going to do something later. Yes. So that's why I, I emphasize on the pronunciation. Pick them map. Pick them map. I want to hear that you're pronouncing M, no N. Very good. Excellent, Selvin. Selvin, one more time, please. You can do it, sir. One more time. Yes, of course. <laughs> one okay, more time. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Very good. Yeah, that's my man. Woohoo! With your wife's permission, of course. <laughs> All righty. Rachel. <laughs> that's your turn. Go ahead, girl. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. How, how you say the last one? Sorry. Pick them up. Can you say it one more time, please? Pick them up. Again, please? Pick them up. No. <laughs> You're using N. I want to hear the M. Okay, M. Mm -hmm. You said pick them yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Pick them up. Pick them up. Very good. One more time. Pick them up. Faster. Pick them up. Mm. You can do it. Yes. Pick, pick them up. Very good. That's my girl. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Give me a dollar, girl. Excellent. Jorge, very good. Now it's your turn, girl. Sorry, boy. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what happened to you? <laughs> Pick up the toys. Uh -huh. Pick the toys up. Pick them up. Very good. Excellent. Woohoo. Hey, Mauricio, it's your turn. Pick up the toys. Uh -huh. Pick the toys up and pick them up. Very good. Jimmy, are you with me? Pick them up. Uh -huh. Pick 
up the toy. Mm -hmm. Pick them up. Very good. Pick the toys up. Excellent. Very good. Guys, now faster. Listen. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Volunteer. Okay. <laughs> Volunteer. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Ya la agarró conmigo. Yes, of course. <laughs> pick the uh, pick the toys up. Mm -hmm. Pick up the toys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Them. <laughs> pick them up. Very good. So <laughs> do you know what? It's going to be easy if you do that. Pick up the toys. Mm -hmm. Pick the toys up. Pick them up. Try to do it? Do it with this. Do it like this. Uh, hey, you can do it. It's easy and it helps a lot. You can imagine. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, you can, you, can say, <laughs> you can say pick the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Okay. <laughs> I, I I will try it. Okay, you can but do it. Then. Okay, but you, then. Can, <laughs> like this. you can do it like this. Yeah. But then. You can Not do it. Today. No, okay, you cannot do the, the, the movement. That's okay. But try to put it again. Say it again. Okay, pick the toys. Pick the toys. Ah. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> pick, pick the toys up. Mm -hmm. Pick up the toys. Pick them up. Very good. You see, you could do it. Yes. That's my girl. <laughs> that's my girl. And that's why you broke my heart. Yay, excellent. Yay, very good. Okay, let's practice the second one, okay? Enough suffering with the pickup. <laughs> but you know what? You will never forget this. I promise. I promise that you will never forget it. Okay, the other one is turn off the lights, right? Okay. Turn off the light or the lights? The light. The light. The light with an S? No. Without, light. without it, yes. There you go. Turn off the light. Repeat after me. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Okay. Turn the lights off, right? This is the second one. Turn, turn, the, light. turn the, light the light off. off. The light off. All right. The very light good. off. Okay. Turn the lights off. And the last one, guys. Turn. Come on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn, you, you remember, you remember a black eyed piece? Turn it off. Turn it off. Mm, I don't remember Doubt that. Remember, okay. remember that? <laughs> huh? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, turn it off. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay, guys. So repeat after me. Uh, turn off the light. Turn off the turn light. Off the light. Turn, off the light. turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn it 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 off. Very good, Natty. The third, the three, please. The three. Turn off the light. Very good. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good, Selvin. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good, Jorge. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good, Rosario. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good, Jimmy. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it, it off. Okay, now repeat. Turn it. Turn it off. off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Very good. Turn Excellent. Off. Excellent. Very good job, Jimmy. Mauricio. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good. And last but not least, I know, Rachel, that you love to participate. That's your turn, girl. <laughs> turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Very good. Guys, guys, do me a favor. When you can use that example, imagine that you're really tired, right? You would like to fall asleep. And your friend, your grandma, your kid, whatever, is still watching TV in your bedroom. You know what you said? You know what, sweetie? I want to sleep. Turn the light off, please. You see? 
We can use it. We use it in a daily basis. Again, is it is it good? Any questions, guys? So far, is it good? Yes or no? No, teacher. No, no, no Rachel, you're not good. No. I have a question. <laughs> Go I ahead. Got it. Go ahead. With this example, uh, mm -hmm. we cannot use pronouns. Uh, for example, her. How can you how can you do a, a phrase with with her, for, for example? Ah, that would depend on the phrase of that you're using. It can be turn her no turn her off. Mm. Oh, digamos, <laughs> turn her up. Okay, maybe she's crazy, right? You <laughs> like turn her up. Yeah, you can use it, but it will means like. That means that she's really crazy. She has a lot of energy. Yeah, make her calm down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can use it. It will not be like reg regular way to use it, but it will have change the meaning. But if I want to say that, uh, please turn the light, turn the light her or I don't know. Si quiero decir, por ejemplo, apágale la luz a ella, o no a mí, sino que a ella. Aha, how you say it? That's really interesting. I don't know. Turn the light. Uh huh. Uh huh, everybody. Turn the light her off. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Turn her the light off. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Yes, that's a miss it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You see, Rosario help you. She's my second hand, you know. Yes. <laughs> the second t-shirt here. All right. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Rosario. You see, you can do it, guys. Excellent. All right. So do me a favor. Let me check something really quickly here. I will give you an example, guys. And uh -huh. there you go. I will send you right now. There's a lot of uh, phrasal verbs, guys, but I'm going to send you a more examples just for you to have it because this is going to be your um, weekend set, your first, home, well, your second homework, and hopefully you can do this one. Did you receive it? Yes? Yes. Okay, I send you guys a list of not all the phrasal verbs because we have a lot, but I send you some. I send you like eight phrasal verbs and uh, in above you have the meaning in Spanish. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to make a sentence for each phrasal verb. You can use a noun, you can use um, a pronoun, that's okay for me, but don't worry, I will give you the nouns that you're going to use, okay? <laughs> give me just one moment. And I will give it to you this really quickly, so bear with me. I will give it to you the information that I want you to use. The teacher is really nice. She always had thought about everything, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it to you. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yes, this is what I want. Okay, guys, bear with me for just a couple of minutes more. There you go. I finally have it. There you go. Okay. I'm going to send it to you right now. The Basically, the nouns that I want you to use in the examples. Okay. So bear with me. There you go. Okay, I sent it to you. Did you receive it already? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so guys, above is the nouns that I want you to use. So you can use one phrasal verb per noun. Okay, if you see guys, all of them are nouns. I didn't give you pronouns. If you want, you can use it. Okay, it's up to you. But I want you to practice phrasal verbs nouns and I want a sentence for each phrasal verb including the nouns that I sent it to you it will be the first thing that we're going to double check tomorrow after at night okay any questions so far so good use the pronouns 
No, just announce. No. Just announce. Uh, no. Right now, the announce. Mm -hmm. Enough suffering, Rachel. I promise. <laughs> All righty, guys. It was nice to have you on the second class for this model. I hope you have enjoyed it and didn't suffer too much. Okay. okay <laughs> All righty. But I'm so happy to see you once again. I'm so, so, so happy. All righty. So work hard. Stay safe. A uh, good, uh, good dinner. Or enjoy it if you haven't had it. Like Nati, maybe. She's starving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hugs okay. and kisses. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.